Hello again, I am Blunty, and some of you may already be aware that for the past uh, couple of months or so, I've been doing some Twitch streaming of uh, Pokemon uh, Alpha Sapphire Mega Ruby. It is my favorite all-time Pokemon game so far, and I've been really, really enjoying streaming it, having a bunch of fun on Twitch with the chat room and stuff, and going on adventures and shiny hunting and all that kind of stuff. And I've been doing so to this point with a rather MacGyvered setup of, of actually filming the screen and using a combination of different bits and pieces and tools to actually you know, try and get it to look good. And I do have a video all about that particular method if you don't have a, a dedicated capture device uh, for your 3DS, which is what's in the box here, by the way. Uh, the, the title of the video probably gave that away, but anyway. So there's a dedicated video all about the system I used, uh, my MacGyvered camera iPhone setup thingy, to, to stream my 3DS gameplay. But, as we just said, in the box here is, is the next step up. This is what you want to get if you're, if you're sort of enjoying yourself streaming. You want to do it more often. You want to do it more regularly. You want to do it with a bit more convenience, a bit of higher quality. Uh, in this box here is a specially modified 3DS XL that has had uh, a little chip, a little board, some little electronics put in it that will enable it to feed out um, a screen feed over USB to a computer so you can capture the screens directly. It's, it's a, more or less an onboard captured card. So this just arrived today, like uh, 15 minutes ago, actually I've been eagerly waiting for it to arrive. It's taken quite a long time to get here because the people who make them, uh, and the website is uh, 3dsvideocapture.com, I believe, if you Google for Katsu Kitty, that's the, the person who, who, who makes them. They put them all together by hand, and apparently sort of over the Christmas period, I ordered mine on like the 23rd of December, I think. But of, of course, over the Christmas period with you know, Christmas with Pokemon uh, Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire coming up, and that's sold, that's sold like 10 million so far, and uh, Super Smash Brothers and all that sort of stuff. There's been a very high demand for, um, for for capture devices, people who want to be streaming the stuff. So it uh, <laughs> it took, uh, let's do the math there, it took about five, five weeks, six weeks. Yeah, about six weeks uh, between ordering it and it arriving, which is not the usual time, I'm told. You know, it's just a, an extra demand at this time of year. So... This is not going to be a very interesting unboxing, so we're going to unbox it and do a little uh, testing of it later as well um, to sort of combine the two. And then I will be doing a full review once I've put it through its paces properly and, uh, on, you know, some streams and recordings and, and, you know, a bunch of, once I've done a lot more testing, basically, to find out just how reliable it is, what the, uh, what the different settings do. Maybe I'll put together some guides as well, but the unboxing itself is going to be pretty boring because this coming out of the box looks almost identical to a regular 3DS XL. And uh, here's a little USB cable that I supply with it. This is uh, just a standard uh, mini USB to a uh, you know, regular USB thing to go into your computer. I'm uh, probably going to use a longer one than the one they supply, but here we go. So that's the packing box out of the way. As you can see, I ship it to you just in a regular 3DS packaging. You can buy the American version, you can buy the Japanese version, you can buy the European version slash Australian version. Um, uh, from the site, you can buy the XL, you can buy the 2DS, you can buy the regular version. Um, they even do Vitas and stuff like that, but this one, I've got the XL because I like the big screens and I've got great big hands, and <laughs> I wanted the XL. Uh, and apparently they sent me a red one. I didn't specify the color, so it was kind of random, and I'm kind of happy I wound up with the red one, because um, I like the red. It's good. On this sheet of paper here, which I'm not going to open up on camera, will be instructions for installing it. There will also be a special URL for the software, and they only give out the, the URL for the software, the drivers and stuff, to people actually bought one, so I'm not going to expose that on camera. Um, but uh, if we open it up here, as you can see, it's already been opened because, of course, after you know, once they buy it, uh, uh, they open it up and, and install the capture card. They pull it apart, install the capture card, put it back together, put it back in the box. You can also choose to send in your own 3DS to them and get them to modify your 3DS, which is a bit cheaper way to go. But I didn't want to do that because my 3DS XL that I use, um, they don't have any capture kits for the new 3DS, so I couldn't get that done. But my 3DS XL is uh, the limited edition Pokemon X and Y one, and I don't want that modified. I want that pristine. I want that, you know, in, in factory default condition, as it were, even though it's, it's being used in everything, but yeah, whatever. You, you get what I mean. So, the big old, uh, wow. <laughs> the, the, the European version, which is the same region as the Australian version, but we, we get slightly different retail packs. I hadn't realized just how thick the instruction book was because, of course, you've got several languages to go through. The Australian one, you only, you only get a really thin book because they only have to account for English. So, yeah, all that's, that's standard instruction stuff, quick starts. That's, that's completely normal from Nintendo. And as we pull the 3DS out of here, this will look completely normal. For all the world, it looks identical to a, a factory fresh 3DS. 
um, except for the peeled off the things that usually go on the screens by the looks of things when they're installing it. So I don't get to I don't get the joy of peeling those off myself. The only external difference between Katsu Kitty's modded 3DSs, where's my camera screwing at? Yeah, focus, there we go. Um, is that right there? There's a USB port where there is normally. Uh, sorry, that one there, that's the power port, the USB port right there, I'm an idiot, where there is normally a, an infrared port. You can do a special order to have them preserve the infrared port if that's something you need to use, but I didn't bother because I've got this unit. If I ever need the infrared port for whatever reason, I can just use this machine. And I, don't, I won't ever need the, US, the infrared port for when I'm streaming because I'll be streaming. Um, so I went for the default option where they just use the port. And that's a tidier way to go because if they have to modify it to preserve the, th the infrared port, they actually have to cut out a section of, uh, of, of the actual case. And it's, it looks a little bit untidy. But this way, it's perfectly tidy, very, very sweet. Uh, and, and it looks like it belongs there, almost. It's, it's not quite, you know, it's, it's rounded edges, but you get what I mean. So that's it. That's, that's why I said it wouldn't be a very exciting unboxing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, uh, probably don't need to charge it, it's probably got charge in it, but I'll, I'll pop it on the charge anyway, and I'll plug it in, I'll install the software, uh, and then we'll give a quick demo of uh, how the capture looks. All right, so let's have a bit of a quick and dirty tour of the, the software here. Uh, I might go through this in more detail if I wind up doing a sort of tutorial for the software, or you know, I find out what settings work best for me or whatnot, I'll make a video about that. But in the meantime, the installation was very straightforward. Um, you have to sort of... Uh, Choose the driver file manually. It doesn't sort of automatically install like some, like, a, like I don't know, a web camera does commonly. Uh, but it's not really a big deal. It's very, very easy to do. The instructions are very clear on their website and everything. And as you can see, there is almost no lag. I mean, there might be a frame or two, but nothing I can sort of see. Sort of with, oh, well, maybe if I do that, you can just see the slightest bit of lag there. Obviously, not an issue at all with Pokemon. Might be an issue with Twitch heavy games if you want to play off the screen, that is. I mean, obviously, you can play off the thing and do that separately. So, whether or not that very, very slight delay is an issue, not for me. No, not for Pokemon. Easy. No problems there. Uh, now, the software itself, you can actually, as you might have noticed, I've got no audio output in this. Everything's coming through the USB, so you get um, uh, vision and audio out. And we can just turn that up through the system here. There we are. Um, and as you can see, the, the screen layout is pretty much the same as it is on the, on the machine here. You can adjust that. You can uh, sort of adjust the, the ratio of the sizes. You can rotate it for some reason. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can. Um, and uh, more usefully, you can actually do uh, a side view mode, which is a little bit more handy for these uh, sort of widescreen monitors you might be playing on. So you can stretch that out there and make better use of your space. You can also um, use uh, two separate uh, windows, if I can find the menu item here, where is it? It's here somewhere. Ah, oh, there we are. Sorry, I couldn't find it for a second there. It's over in the config menu. Separate lower screen. So now you can have uh, separate upper and lower screens, which is uh, really handy if you want to record those separately, or just have them separately, or indeed what I'm going to be doing, um, and using them to position them separately in uh, OBS, my, my streaming software. As you can see, they've got them set up thing actually they're they're a little bit out of whack because I've been fiddling with the software after I set this up but <laughs> if you get that set up right it looks normal now I'll show you in a minute some some recording the software that comes with it does not actually record it's just for display so you have to use a separate program to record either use OBS or XSplit or any any one of a number of screen capturing programs uh, like uh, what is it Camister or something it's called um, all that kind of stuff there's lots of different options but the software that comes with it uh, does not directly record. It's just about displaying and giving you a bunch of options for filtering and, and arrangements and you know, resolutions and, and buffer size and all that sort of stuff. Um, so if you're uh, sort of recording on the screen, you might want to sort of record it that way and then cut it up later and rearrange it and whatnot. But what I'm going to show you now is some direct recorded stuff. Uh, I'll probably just record this using, I don't know, Fraps or something. Uh, and then I'll do a little bit of recording through OBS, which will look a bit, because uh, I've got that set for 480p, so it'll look a little bit worse, but uh, it'll give you an idea of, of what I'm going to be streaming at. Uh, but yeah, very, very happy with this piece of kit so far. It's, you know, it's very subtle. It's uh, very clean installation. It works perfectly right out of the box. Installation was easy. Software is nice. Uh, it's all in English and everything. Um, uh, an early version of, J of this software was only in Japanese, which caused some problems. But, you know, it's fully English now. No problems. It works straight away. And, uh, yeah, as we can see, there is almost no lag at all. So if you wanted to play off your big screen or, indeed, your TV, you could pipe this to your TV. Easy peasy. I'm very excited to finally have this and very excited to finally get, uh, get streaming with some crispy direct capture gameplay from my 3DS. But that's it for me for now. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty. I'll catch you next time. And I'll leave you with a bit of uh, Pokemon footage. 
Actually, while we're looking at this footage, this is a really good opportunity to give proper props and thanks and no small amount of gratitude to the surprisingly generous folk who donated to my tip jar during my Twitch streams late last year, 100% of which went towards purchasing this very kit so that my streams can look their best. I literally would not have been able to purchase this gadget without the following people in alphabetical order, uh, some of whom were just like bewilderingly generous. I can't thank you guys enough. Several of whom even made multiple donations. So thank you all so very much. It really... It, it, it's, I, I, I don't even have the words. It's fantastic. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I'm, 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 I'm filled with, with, with fuzzy feelings that I'm, I'm not accustomed to feeling. For, <laughs> for Edetco, Agro Arrow, Alpha Turtle Twelve, several anonymous donators. I can't name you, but I do thank you from the bottom of my black heart. Blue Bodo Twelve Fifteen, Chazu Three O Two, Chonks. Well, actually, it's Chonks underscore Darkness Viking, Ilmonzo, Fish Allies, Freddy Fred Five, Fun with Treason, Gornal Gaming Tonight, Gurnal Blitzkrieg, Jamofig. Kid Sock, Liam LG13, Maraven, Retro8477, Vi Virus, Virus Stylus, I can, can never get this guy's name right, Virus Stylus, what did I say Retro? I don't know, Retro8884, Virus Stylus, you know who I'm talking about. If I have forgotten you, I'm so sorry, I did go down the list of the names, I'm pretty sure I've named everyone who donated at the appropriate time to, to, to go towards the, the capture kit and everything, but... Uh, uh, I'm afraid, I'm, I'm terrified that I forgot something, and if I did, I'm terribly sorry, but I'm pretty sure I got everyone. Thank you guys so very much. Thank you all, not only for the tips that let me get this thing, but also for helping make my streams as fun as they are by being active and joyful participants in the chat. You're all kind of awesome, and my streams would not be as, as half as entertaining or as fun for me or for anyone else watching if it wasn't for you guys. You're essential to the process. I'm glad you're, uh, you're there. <laughs> thank you guys so much. Uh, have I said thank you enough? I think so. How many thank yous is there? Someone count. How many thank yous? <laughs> but as you can see, the 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 capture card uh, uh, kit thingy works brilliantly well. Lovely. I'm so happy. Hopefully it uh, it, it, it keeps performing performing this well. I'm uh, I've, I've got high expectations. Anyway, did I say uh, thanks for joining us? Uh, I'm Blunty, uh, and I will catch you next time.